What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli for another, you already know, easy and delicious recipe. And I got a special guest with me today, Leia, my chef in training. She gonna help me out today and she's also gonna tell y'all what we're gonna do today. So Leia, let them know what we're doing today. So today we're gonna be doing baked chicken tacos. Now guys, you heard her, baked chicken tacos. Now I'm telling you, this thing is delicious. What you think? Yeah, it was delicious. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine. So, so let's, let's go. go. All right, guys. So here are the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. Let me tell you what we got here. Right here, I'm using. Uh, I got some my taco shells. I'm using the stand and stuffed tacos. It's better because you're able to fit all your necessary ingredients into the taco shell. Those the other ones just it's really really difficult to try to get everything in, especially without breaking it. Uh, right here, we're going to use some taco cheese, of course, some refried beans. We're going to use diced uh, tomatoes. We got, you'll use taco sauce, some cilantro, taco seasoning, an uh, onion. Right here I have some jalapenos that I'm going to um, garnish the taco with. Now you don't have to put jalapenos on yours, but I am. Also you want to use some green chilies, but I can't find any canned green chilies here. So what I'm going to do um, to make my green chilies is I'm going to use some poblano peppers and I'm going to roast them. And once I roast them, then I'm going to chop them up into those to find chili pieces. So this is what I'm using, but go ahead and get the canned green chilies, or you could do it this way and save it. Um, if you don't want, if time is not of essence to you, you can do it and you got poblano peppers. And right here I have some um, uh, rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Now, if you want to just go ahead and cook your own boneless chicken breast, you can also do that too. But, um, but to save time, you can also get the, um, the rotisserie chicken out of your local grocery store or whatever you have left over if you got chicken left over from another meal that you cook so these are the ingredients guys let's go ahead and get started this is the ingredient that we got for today we got some half a pound of chopped chicken two cups of cheese two tablespoons of fresh cilantro a can of refried beans one onion chopped a pack of taco seasoning, a can of diced tomatoes, and a can of green chilies. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna have for today, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start preparing our meat mixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn our fire up, our heat up just a little bit, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm gonna let this come to, to temperature. All right, so now that we got up the temperature, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our onions. And we're just gonna move them around like this. Turn them down just a little bit. We're gonna let these cook for about two to three minutes, just until they're translucent and give off that nice fragrance. All right, guys, so it's been about about two to three minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start adding um, some more ingredients. We're gonna add our uh, chilies. You guys, remember what I did with these chilies? I just used some poblano peppers, roasted them and cut them and diced them. So if you don't have canned chilies, you can use poblano peppers, just roast them. Next, we're gonna add our diced tomatoes. And guys, remember, make sure you drain it. You don't want any uh, liquid. Or try not to get it, um, a lot of liquid in, so make sure you drain them before you do it. Also, we're going to add our chicken now. Get that mixed in like that. And our taco sauce. And we're going to cook this for about, about five to seven minutes. And you want to make sure you cook it over, over low heat, medium low. All right, guys, so it looks like we're about five minutes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to remove our pan from our cooktop. And I may transfer this to, let me find a bowl to transfer this, um, this chicken mixture to, and I'll be right back. And guys, this is what we have. 
right here. I just put it back into this that same bowl that the chicken was in, and let's move on to the next step. So now we're gonna prepare our taco shelf in this dish. So I did six here. So now I'm gonna try to fit two here on the side. There we go. So we're gonna put the taco shelf in the oven for about like three minutes so it can crisp. So our taco shells are ready. So we're gonna put our beans. So I use a tablespoon and a half of refried beans. So this is how the first one should look. So we're gonna do the rest of them like this. So I'm all done with the refried beans. So let's get started with the chicken. You need to put the chicken until it's almost filled up on the shell. So this is how you're gonna supposed to do it, with like the first one. So I'm gonna do the rest like this. All right, guys, so she did a great job uh, getting these tacos stuffed with the chicken, with the refried beans and the chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it off with our cheese. We have two cups of cheese, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start adding this to the top. Now, guys, you already know, the more cheese, the better. So I don't have any particular measurements when it comes to how much cheese I'm gonna add to each taco. I mean, you could do it by sight, but I highly recommend you use all two cups, that's for sure. All right, so what we're gonna do now is place it in the oven. I've already preheated the oven for 400 degrees, so it's already at that temperature. We're gonna let it cook for seven to 10 minutes until the cheese is fully melted and we get that crispy look on those tacos, all right? So I'll be right back. And take a look at this, guys. Seven minutes out of the oven, this is what we have. Man, that looks so delicious. I'm already ready to get started to this quality control, but of course, we want to garnish this with some uh, fresh cilantro. Definitely have to do that. Just like this. Man, that looks delicious. Looks delicious, delicious, delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get this on a plate and then we're going to um, take another look and then we're gonna head into quality control, all right? Let's go. And there you have it, guys. Baked chicken tacos. What more could I say about this recipe? I don't know many people, I don't know anybody that doesn't like tacos. And let me tell you, this recipe is delicious. You definitely wanna give it a try. So far, I just added some fresh cilantro and I also added some lettuce right here, but you can add some whatever toppings you want. I'm gonna add some chopped jalapeno peppers along with some sour cream and some taco sauce when I do quality control. But I guess I just want you guys to take a look at what we have right here. So the measurements and the ingredients are all in the video description below. Like always guys, thank you everybody for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into this quality control guys. So let's go. All right, guys, so we're back here with that quality control. Of course, I got Leah here, my helper, that helped me make these delicious chicken baked tacos. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try them out to see if we did a great job. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give Leah one of them. And I'm going to top mine off with some sour cream. Leah, you wanna put sour cream on yours or no sour cream? So she wants to see how the sour cream tastes. Hold on, let me get mine prepared. I'm gonna throw, like you said, guys, no, I'm gonna put some jalapeno peppers on, jalapeno peppers on mine, cause I like a little heat, along with some of this sour cream. And we definitely gotta top it off with some of that, uh, with some taco sauce. I mean, it's, it's not even a, a taco without any taco sauce, guy. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do with this. I'm, I'm gonna get this toast to the camera because none of this is on the shot. So I'm gonna let you guys see how. Just put some of that, that mild taco sauce on here like that. Oh man, oh man. All right, so 
Lee and I are about to try this and we're gonna let you guys know exactly what it tastes like. All right, you ready? Let's go. Guys, you know, when I close my eyes, it's delicious. That is a sign when I close my eyes or I just laugh <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> That's how you know I know it's good. Mm. 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 Good. What you think about it? It's good. Very good. Guys, very easy to prepare. Like I said, you can buy grocery store rotisserie chicken where you don't have to cook the chicken. All the uh, other uh, items are pretty much in the can. Very easy to make, very quick, and you can make it for, uh, what, this is 10 tacos. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a get together or you got a big family, it's easy to put this thing together. And if you, I know you guys paying attention to me, but I hear her over here smacking, cause she can't get you, look at her, she's still eating it. So, we're gonna go ahead and get back to uh, eating it because I got a smack too. I just can't have all this smacking. So until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, and this is my little helper, Leia. All wings, everything, and I, I or we, we are out. And we are out. Peace. Peace.